the sun shining and we might get done today. We have to set up an auger, well not really an auger, a conveyor. The place we've got our seed bean contractor off that conveyor off, uh, we gotta haul our seed beans out tomorrow. And the conveyor's a lot more gentle on them, doesn't split them as bad. But we've gotta get a motor on this unload, and the other bin, we have to take that unload over there, if you can see it. We have to pull that out and shove it in that bin. So, I'm gonna get started. Well, we got the conveyor set up. Let's go pick some corn. We had some dust uh, dust and chaff and whatever built up by the chopper belt, so we blew that out real quick. Um, it's a good way to cause a fire. We don't need that on the potential last day of Harvest 19. But we got everything ready, I think. We're going to go give her a shot. This field was pretty muddy last time we were here, and I don't think it got any better. So we're just going to do the best we can, see if we can knock it out. There's only about 28 acres left here. See how that row right there is a little bit wider than the rest of them? That's a good way to tell where you should dive in and cut through the middle. That way you know it's between planter passes. That way you won't end up with a row of shame, because nobody likes rows of shame. Today is Sunday. I really don't like working on Sundays. I feel like Sundays should just be a day of rest. Go to church, watch a football game if you're into that type of thing. Even if you don't go to church, I feel like you should still take Sunday or at least one day a week off just to rest because harvest can be very exhausting mentally and physically and it's just good to take a day off, spend some time with family. But we are so close to being done. We have to haul seed beans tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice. And then Tuesday, they're calling for rain. There's an 80% chance of rain. So elevators open from noon to five today. It's quarter till noon. So we're gonna get started here and see if we can knock this out. The rest of the corn has to go to the bin. So if we can run late tonight, shove that in the bin, 
we could potentially get done today. I'm not going to hold my breath. We might have a breakdown or something. It would not surprise me, but we're going to try. <laughs> These are not good conditions. Yeah, Dylan, just turn around on the end and go down to the south and go back. I forgot to tell you how bad it was. Okay. Yeah, it is really muddy out here. I got the combine in first gear. Just I figured that'd be a little bit easier on the hydro. Um, I, I'm going like three miles per hour, but that's just what we can do. So Dylan cut some pretty major ruts. I forgot to tell him. I didn't know he was coming up behind me, so I didn't tell them to stay back a ways, but oh well. The whole farm's rutted up anyway. We're just going to have to do something with it in the spring. Like disc it or chisel it or whatever. Oh well. Well, I said it would be a fight to the finish, and it sure has been. We iced the combine up yesterday. This field is super muddy. It's not going to be fun. There's a good chance we could get something stuck or break something. Who knows? We just gotta go for it. Um, if it wasn't, you know, the end of November, we probably would let this farm sit, but the problem is it's cold enough. It's not gonna dry out at this point. The corn's not gonna dry down anymore. It's testing upper 20s, low 30s. And we're just so close to the end. We gotta get it done. I know I keep saying that, but it's time. We're all sick of harvest. We all wanna be done. Normally, the last day of harvest is kind of bittersweet. But this year, it's a little more sweet than bitter. I'm gonna check my sieves out. They were all gummed up from getting iced up yesterday. Make sure they got cleaned out. to say something outrageous but stick with me i think that chickweed is the perfect cover crop just let that sink in think about it it's a winter annual it seeds itself in the fall it grows all winter long and then it dies in the spring you don't have to kill it the only time it's a problem is if you try and run a field cultivator over it but if you no-till into it it doesn't cause any problem what do you guys think? This field has a lot of chickweed in it. That's what made me think of that. It's really muddy out here. I'm having a hard time staying on the road. And I'm about to go through some standing water. field. We haven't been running the cart out in the field for these last few passes because this is the wettest spot in the field. Um, he was really struggling to get through in a few places so we've just been parking on the end. These rows are a little bit shorter right here. They're not quite half a mile so I could pretty much make a round and uh, a couple times I had to cut it short but 
Last pass here, we're gonna throw it on the cart. Dill and I have to wait around for Dad to get back with the truck to take the last load. I'm gonna head over to Dad's. We gotta set the auger back up, swap trailers to the dump trailers, and we're gonna try and knock out that other field. There's probably 30, 40 acres left. So, everything's going good, knock on wood. Shouldn't take us too much longer. Pheasants. down to there all the way to here that is all the corn we've got left 38 acres it's just about dark we're going to the bin so we can run as late as we can or until we have too much in the bin we're not quite sure if it'll all fit or not and we can't end up with any full trailers because we have to use them to haul beans tomorrow so it'll be kind of a juggle if we want to try and get done I'm really hoping to because I just want to be done with this. Here we go, last field. Well, I've got a couple gathering chains that I'm pretty sure are loose. I'm gonna go tighten them up real quick because when they're loose, that's a good way to break them. And if we broke one tonight, I don't know if we'd be able to recover from it. As you can see, this one's loose and I can't tighten it up anymore. It's probably hard to see. These chains are so wore out. I've got that one as tight as it can go and it's still not tight enough. So we're just gonna hope it makes it through this last 25 acres or so. And uh, yeah, hopefully. Well, we've got about 20 acres left and we have a new combine operator. She came to give me a break. You two, meet my wife, Maria. Hello. You're doing great, babe. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs>
ready to look away. <laughs> I don't want to look away. You just look. Look at the corner right here. Okay. So you can go fast. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going four. Yeah. We're speeding along. Do you feel comfortable? No. <laughs> to be done 2019 was a very frustrating year and it's uh, at times we didn't know if we were gonna be able to get the crop planted so it really feels good that we got everything planted we got everything harvested we're done this has been one of the longest harvests ever I don't know exactly when we started but I if I remember right it was the end of October and it's November 23rd right now 24th something like that anyways it feels good to be done we probably won't get much tillage done this year because it is wet and muddy and the weather would have to drastically change for us to be able to do some tillage this fall. But you never know. We've uh, we've done tillage in December before. So thank you all for watching us and following along with the harvest. Uh, I really appreciate it. It means a lot that I have so many people that really care about what we're doing on the farm. And uh, I really appreciate it. Now that harvest is over, the videos might slow down a little bit, but I'm still hoping to do a video a week. And uh, if you guys will stick around, we've got some stuff planned for the winter. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you always know what's going on on the farm, and we'll see you next time.